First, we begin with the other big story of the day. Former Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson is being sued, accused of sexually assaulting and harassing an officer who worked for him. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Bradley. And I'm Lourdes Duarte. Details in that lawsuit were revealed today. WGN's political reporter Tamon Bradley is here now with more. Lourdes and Ben, truly stunning allegations made against CPD's former top cop. The woman who we thought was Johnson's mistress says she was in fact the victim of horrific abuse by Johnson. <clears throat> Today, Cynthia Donald, a central figure in the events that led to Eddie Johnson's firing at CPD, accused the former top cop of sexual abuse, harassment, and a hostile work environment. In a lawsuit filed overnight, Donald, Johnson's former driver, alleges Johnson raped her, sent nude photos, and pressured her to comply with sexual advances. For more than three years, I was subjected to unwanted and uninvited sexual abuse, harassment, intimidation, in a hostile work environment. The suit alleges several incidents of sexual abuse, including an encounter around the end of June or early July 2016 at CPD headquarters. Donald was getting ready for an event in a side room off Johnson's office, the suit states. Johnson enters, forces her onto a nearby couch, pulls down her pants without consent, and then forcibly performs a sex act on her. When finished, Donald alleges Johnson then told her, now you know you belong to me. He referred to me as his girl. At times when I was able to avoid his sexual advances, he would tell me, you got to wait this time. Donald was with Johnson during the infamous incident in October 2019 when the then superintendent was found slumped over the wheel of his SUV. His explanation later that day was that he had dinner with friends and forgot to take his medication. He later confessed to Mayor Lightfoot he had a couple of drinks with dinner. Then reports emerged that Johnson was actually out drinking with Donald at a downtown bar. Today, Donald and her attorney said Johnson ordered her to come out with him that night and that Mayor Lightfoot was told about the incident. Uh, after that night, it's our understanding that Lori Lightfoot was updated as to what happened. And instead of speaking with Cynthia herself or ordering a thorough investigation, she told Eddie to, quote, dump Cynthia and remove her from his security detail. When Mayor Lori Lightfoot had an opportunity to investigate and uncover Eddie Johnson's abusive conduct toward me, she instead ordered Eddie to dump me by demoting me to a desk job. After the trauma, Donald says doctors diagnosed her with post-traumatic distress disorder. As the city inspector general investigated the incident, Donald was accused of destroying. Eddie Johnson told Officer Donald specifically that he destroyed or wiped his own cell phone. This is just a civil lawsuit. Donald's attorneys have not discussed criminal charges with the state's attorney, but obviously what's alleged in the lawsuit is criminal behavior. Donald's attorney also alleged that a half a dozen CPD officials knew about Johnson's misconduct. We've reached out to Eddie Johnson's attorney, but we've not heard back. We also reached out to Mayor Lightfoot's office. Yeah. We've not heard back. Okay, we'll wait and see. Thank you so much, Taman.